Hey guys, it's me, Sam the Baker, and welcome back to my Let's Play of King's Quest V. When we last left Graham, he finally made it to Mordex Island. And now, we entered the castle through a grate, which we found on the side of the castle. And there's no turning back because... The hole is much too high for Graham to ever reach. He'll have to find another way out. Very true. So, let's see where we are. Graham looks around in terrified confusion as he finds himself in a labyrinth somewhere underneath Mordax Castle. Ooh, it's a labyrinth. Let's see if we can get out of it. Also, Cedric is being a lookout up here. So let me show you how this labyrinth works. No matter which direction we go, whether it's forwards, backwards, left or right, we will always be facing forward. Let me show you. We just went backwards and we're still facing forwards. I'm about to go left. See, we're still facing forward. Oh, a creature. A grotesque creature scurries along the stone walls of the labyrinth. There's several different creatures that roam this labyrinth too. But they're not gonna hurt us. And luckily I know where to go because I memorized the way. Ooh, another creature. Just look at how the labyrinth is set up. Also, there's something I want to share with you. It's called staying calm. We all get frustrated at times and that's completely natural. But in order to solve problems that we face, we have to stay calm or keep our cool instead of get too angry, because this will help uh, solve the problem a lot better. A few different ways we can get frustrated include checking out at the grocery store, ordering some food at a restaurant, or waiting for an exciting date to come, like if we're going on a trip. We gotta manage our anxiety, keep our cool, and know everything will be okay. So give it a try whenever you get the chance, because it'll really pay off in the end. Anyways, look what's over here. Guy, a big creature. A huge beast, sporting a fluffy topknot bound in a crude hairpin on top of his head, skulks in one dark corner of the labyrinth. Yeah, we could walk up to him, or else he will give us a big hug, but that will just make us lose the game. But we can play him an instrument. In this case, we got the tambourine. <laughs> Look at him boogieing away. There he goes, and he just dropped something on the ground. Let's pick it up. Graham reaches down and grabs the hairpin off the labyrinth floor. A hairpin! Wonder what we can use that for. Oh yeah, also that life lesson about staying calm. Gotta be calm when trying to navigate your way through this maze too. Look what's over here. It's a door! Let's go through it. Graham tries to open the wooden door, but to no avail, as it's securely locked. Well, I got the solution to that. We could use this key, but it won't work. But the hairpin will. That's right. There are stories where people have used hairpins to unlock doors. Graham inserts the hairpin into the door's large keyhole and discovers, to his amazement, that it fits perfectly. Turning it ever so gently, he soon hears a soft click and the door is unlocked. Cool, let's go in. We're about to go into the castle. Here we are. This is the castle's pantry. And there's something in this cupboard we need. Inside the cupboard, Graham's eyes fall upon a bag of dried peas. Let's get them. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham retrieves the bag of dried peas. 
Wait till you see what we need the peas for. It's gonna be a pretty silly reason. Ooh, what have we got here? Graham surveys Mordak's kitchen in disgust. It is an untidy mishmash of dirty pots, jars with unidentified contents, rags, and assorted junk. Even with all that, Graham can see nothing that interests him. Cool, this is Mordak's kitchen. And there's also a young girl right here. A lovely young girl with long black hair, olive skin, and flashing green eyes laboriously scrubs the cold stone floor. Though wearing rags, her beauty nevertheless shines through. Cool. Let's see if we can try to talk to her. Don't come near me. Leave me alone. Aw, we startled her. I would never hurt you. I'd like to help you. I don't believe you. You're probably one of them. I'm not. Believe me. Just go away. Please. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh no. How can we convince her that we're not evil? We've got something. It's this locket. It actually belongs to her. Warning. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. Wherever did you find my gold locket? I thought it was gone for good. I lost it on the island just after I was brought here by Mordak. You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. But tell me, who are you and how did you come to be here? My name is Princess Cosima from the Kingdom of the Green Isles. My father, the king, employs a horrible wazir who befriended Mordak. When Mordak saw me, he immediately wished to marry me and bring me here. Naturally, I refused. And my father agreed with me. But our refusal angered him so much that he stole me here anyway and put me to work as a scullery girl. He says he will never let me go. That a scullery girl I will remain until I agree to marry him. But the thought revolts me. What am I to do? Don't worry. I'm here to save my family from the evil wizard. He's got them here someplace imprisoned inside a glass bottle. If I can manage to rescue them, then of course I wouldn't forget you either. I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's in Mordak's laboratory upstairs. Keep quiet about my presence. Uh, I think this will be the most difficult part of my journey. I may not survive it. I would never give you away. And I will help you in any way I can, kind sir. Thanks so much, Kasima. And she will help us. Wait till you see how. Let's talk to her one last time. By the way, who are you? I'm King Graham of Daventry. I think I know where that is. It's very far from my home, though. Don't worry. Somehow, I'll get you home again. But first, I've got to save my family. Yes, well, <laughs> I'll stand by you, King Graham. I'll help if I can. Thanks. I may need it. Well, I'd better get back to work, and you should keep out of sight. Aye aye, my lady. Thanks, Cosima. I trust you very much. So, now that we've gained Cosima's trust, we can move on. But we will move on in the next video. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!